In this video, I'm going to be teaching you some simple tips and tricks that you can apply today to start speeding up your computer and getting it back to the speed that you were used to when you bought it. Now, I have to put on the disclaimer before I begin that this video isn't for everybody. If you have a PC computer, you're going to find this video to be a gold mine of information. But if you have a Mac, this video unfortunately is not targeted towards you. So with that being said, let's begin. Now the way we're going to figure out how to speed up our computer is taking a look at some of the classic problems that bog down our computer, slow it down, and figure out how to fix them. The first issue that just about every Windows user ever faces are Windows errors. Basically, over time, as you're using your system, error logs begin to pile up. And if you don't have something going in to shell out those error logs, it's going to bog down your system. It's not going to be anything malicious. It's not going to be anything um, that is harming your computer. But because they pile up, it's going to slow down your computer, bog down your computer, and just uh, consume a lot of your resources. The same idea applies to registry errors. Now, what your Windows registry is, is it's essentially a database of information that gets recorded into anytime you install a program, uninstall a program, and this is the big one, even run a program. So you can imagine how often data is being inputted into this Windows registry. And whenever data is being inputted at a high rate, there's always going to be a strong chance that errors will arise. And like I said before, it's not anything malicious, it's not a virus, it's not malware, adware, anything like that but they're just simply errors and errors bog down your computer. So we need to go in and clean out our Windows registry and I'm gonna show you how to do both of that uh, in just a little bit. So then piggybacking off of the last two ideas, lack of memory is a huge problem and this is computer memory. Essentially, um, how many files you can hold on your computer. If it has a lot of files on it, it's gonna slow down your entire computer's performance. And so if you can delete some of your personal files, that might be a good thing to do to speed it up, but you really don't need to because there are ways to um, open up your memory after you've used your computer for a while. Um, that relates to the past two topics that we talked about, you know, the registry being huge, having um, a large amount of Windows errors that just need to be cleaned out. That can increase the memory you have available on your computer and therefore speed up your computer. This next one isn't a huge problem, but having invalid directories on your computer, essentially um, some files linking to directories that don't exist can slow down your computer because it's just not a fluid motion of events. So I'm going to show you how to fix that too in just a little bit. And then the next one is something that you guys are probably familiar with, and that's damaging data. Um, this could be anything, you know, like viruses, adware, malware, anything like that, that actually would be malicious towards your computer. Um, a lot of people think, oh, my computer has a virus, but truth is, most of the time they probably don't. Most of the time it's probably just a bogged down computer with the stuff that we've previously talked about. Um, but this is a possibility, so always keep it in mind, always have antivirus on your computer, um, and then make sure that you're just kind of uh, making sure that there are no viruses on your computer that might be slowing it down. So then you heard me mention this previously, but overloaded temp files are a huge problem. Temp, it stands for temporary. And basically, whenever you're browsing the internet, um, you know, doing stuff on your computer, these temporary files get created um, that are just essentially memory suckers. And if you don't go in and clear those out, it can bog down your computer. Because you think about if temporary files are created over the lifetime that you've had your computer, how much space do you think that is taking up? You know, if you've had your computer for a week, probably nothing. That's why it runs so fast right in the beginning. But over time, these errors build up, these temporary files build up, and you just need to go in and clear them out. And once again, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute, I've only got one more. And that final one is unnecessary applications. This could be stuff that you installed a while ago. This could be something that you accidentally installed as an add-on um, when you were trying to install something else. But going in and kind of deleting some of the applications that you really don't use anymore can be a huge speed up for your computer. So I highly recommend you do that. But guys, here we go. We're gonna jump right into how we can fix all of these errors right now. It's a hole in the wall software that I personally use myself and I think a lot of people just don't know about yet and it's called Registry Easy. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process and how we can start fixing these problems right now. All right, so in the description of this video, I put a link to Registry Easy for you guys. And what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna start the free download of it. 
and I'm going to do it with you right here. Got this down here. Once it finishes going, waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. And it should start running right now. Here we go. Just hit yes. Go next this is just your uh, general install. That's fine. And we're going to launch Registry Easy right now. So basically what Registry Easy is going to do now is going to scan through your computer to isolate all of the different threats that might be slowing it down. Um, so it's kind of works like an antivirus software, but instead of searching for viruses, malware, and adware, what it's searching for are all these registry errors, Windows errors, you know, uh, file paths that aren't complete, um, all that stuff that we just talked about. So if we take a look at this list right here, um, here we go. Here's here's like the file paths, the invalid shortcuts has to do with um, file paths. We talked about um, the registry errors right here, emptying the registry keys. System services and uh, system software settings that has to do with Windows errors. So this is all what we talked about right here, and it's just going to scan through and figure out where all the problems are on your computer that are slowing it down. So we can go down here and hit scan now. And we'll just let it sit. And I'm going to pause the video right now um, and I'll check it back with you once this is done. All right, so now my scan's finished, and as you can see, it only took like six, seven minutes. So extremely quick process guys very quick and in those six seven minutes it found 2182 errors on my side computer here this is huge guys that is a lot of errors and let's play a fun little game with this in the comment section down below after you download it and do a full scan of your computer put your number in the comments I want to see who is the big victor, who's got the seven-year-old computer that's got, you know, 25,000 errors on it, and we'll see who's the winner there and who's going to speed up their computer the most by fixing uh, the most errors. So uh, let, let's see, put that down in the comments and we'll compare with each other. But now what we're going to do is come down here and hit repair to fix those 2,000 issues. Now, you know, with the light version of Registry Easy, you can continue to use it, and every time you do a scan, it only fixes 25 errors. So, I mean, you can do that, but realistically, that's really stupid. You know, you're going to end up wasting a lot of time and uh, you're not going to speed up your computer significantly with 25 fixes. So let's go ahead and, and go right through with the register. I'm going to need to do this on my uh, side computer anyways to get register easy on here. So I'm going to walk through this with you guys. It just popped up in Chrome here for me. So I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to put in my information, then I'll hit next step. All right, I hit next step and now I'm on to obviously the next page. And what I'm going to recommend for you guys is uh, realistically, I should have bought this for three computers. I didn't realize I'd be setting it up on my side computer, but you don't need the lifetime license. You really only need the one year license. Um, I only run this about once every six months. But truth is, if your computer is heavily bogged down right now, all you're going to need is one really big scan right off the bat. And then, you know, maybe you'll run it again within a year, but more likely than not, you're just going to need that one big fix to speed up your computer. Um, and you'll notice too down here that it says, you know, designed for Windows XP and it's Windows Vista ca uh, cap capable. Sorry, I had trouble getting that word out. Um, I'm using Windows 7 right now. You can see it does still work for Windows 7. So don't worry if you're running Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, anything like that. It does work for it. So um, I'm just going to do the one year for one computer right here. Um, I don't need this. I don't need the extra exclusive offer. And I'm just going to hit secure checkout now. And so here we go. I'm going to scroll down. Everything looks good. 40 bucks. Guys, rationalize this purchase too. 40 bucks. If, if you don't speed up your computer right now, you're going to be buying a computer in no time. You're going to be spending 600 plus dollars on a new computer. And if you can spend 40 bucks now to save yourself 600 bucks in the next few months, huge guys. This is a huge savings for you. It's just a little bit of investing in yourself and making a smart purchase to be able to speed up your computer right now to save money um, in the really near future. So that's why just rationalize this purchase. It's obviously um, something that is extremely obvious to do. 
So now what I'm gonna do is scroll down here and sorry that I have to blur out this stuff but I'm gonna actually pay with PayPal. It's taking a little bit to load here. And once again, sorry, I'm blurring out information, um, but I'm just gonna type in my PayPal information. So you see, register easy, one computer, one year. I'll hit pay now. And guys, I'm setting up register easy right now. Within a matter of minutes, now you can see I'm gonna hit complete order. And boom, we have our serial number right here. Uh, so, sorry guys, I have to blur out my serial number again because I know a lot of you probably would try to steal it. Um, but we're gonna put this in here, hit submit. And great, now my copy is registered successfully. So now I can actually go in here, hit repair, and it can, it can complete a full registry backup if I want to. Um, so I'm just gonna let it run. But that's it guys. That's the entire process. Now Registry Easy is just going to run through um, and fix all those 2,000 errors. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what your guys' number of errors is on your computer. And I'm hoping that this really helped you speed up your computer. All the best.